The Defense Logistics Agency is known as America's Combat Logistics Support Agency, and its support of the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, federal agencies, and partner nation armed forces is far-reaching. DLA provides its customers with the full spectrum of logistics, acquisition, and technical services, and provides nearly all of the consumable items its customers need to operate. A key part of DLA is its network of distribution centers located worldwide. DLA Distribution is the leading provider of global distribution support to America's military, including receiving, storing, and issuing supplies. At selected distribution centers, shipments of government and vendor-supplied materiel are received for consolidation before further shipment overseas. Consolidation and containerization points are trans-shipping points where materiel is accepted from vendors and distribution centers and consolidated for shipment to the ultimate consignee, central receiving point, or break bulk point. CCPs consolidate CCP receipts and co-locate mission stock. This process involves the in-check and receipt of the materiel via the identification of transportation control numbers and their associated document numbers to include the printing of barcoded radio frequency identification and local control labels. This entire process is called CCP receiving. Co-located material shipments generated by distribution centers interconnected with a CCP pass through the CCP and move directly to packing and or outbound operations. Material that comes through CCP receiving must contain shipping documents or labels, which display required information on the exterior of the carton or container. Here is the information that is required for a CCP process and for a receipt to be cut. This is an example of frustrated materiel due to lack of documentation. The exterior container does not include required information. In this example, the TCN is missing. This can result in the delay or disposal of the shipment. When the materiel is multi-pack, also known as mixed national stock numbers, materiel must be labeled and marked with shipping documents for each document number, with its associated NSN attached to allow full visibility of all materiel in transit. This is an example of a good CCP receipt. It has a military standard 129 label on the left side, and shipping documentations for each document number on the right side. A brightly colored marking allows receivers to see that the materiel is a multi-pack. Here is another example of a good CCP receipt. In addition, multiples must be labeled and marked for better visibility of materiel in transit. DLA distribution by policy cannot accept bare items. Bare items will not be packed by DLA distribution. Materiel must be properly packed to avoid damage to the freight during shipment. The shipping documents and markings must match to prevent materiel from being frustrated. If there is a discrepancy, a transportation discrepancy report will be filed at the point of receipt. If discrepancies cannot be corrected within 90 days from the time of research to resolve the frustration begins and the reporting activity has exhausted all good faith efforts to locate the owners, the report is considered closed. Good faith is defined as a reasonable effort to contact the owner of the materiel. This includes any information available on the shipment that might identify ownership of the materiel. If the vendor provides a written response that indicates they have no shipping information, the good faith effort is concluded. CCP receiving will then request disposition instructions from the shipper, inventory control point, or the item manager on material frustrated in the CCP. Wood packaging material markings must be visible on appropriate pallets or packaging. If WPM markings are not found, the processing of the materiel will be delayed and vendors may be subject to remediation costs. 
Shipments on or in WPM and destined for non-participating countries must be processed using the DOD pest-free compliance procedures, which includes moisture meter testing and use of the DOD pest-free stamp. Countries not found on the list provided by USDA are considered non-participating. The list will change as more countries adopt the IPPC requirements and must be periodically checked. Shipments to non-participating countries must be certified using the DOD pest-free procedure. Here is an example of a pallet that is non-compliant. The pallet does not have the required WPM markings and therefore may not move forward in the transportation system until it is corrected. A DLA distribution employee will visually review the freight for damage. If the freight is damaged, a TDR will be filed at the point of receipt. The materiel will also be visually checked to see if it is properly loaded, braced, blocked, and placarded. If freight is not properly loaded, a TDR will be filed at the point of receipt. Pre-positioned materiel receipt document data needs to be conveyed to the ICP prior to the time of shipment. The final destination for CCP materiel is to our overseas customers. Our customers rely on DLA and its vendors to supply them with the critical items they need to accomplish their mission. Following proper procedures will ensure there is no delay in shipping out materiel. The goal is always for our customer to receive the right item on time, every time.